All right, we are going to walk through engraving with the Cricut Design Space, but filling in that engraving. So if you're watching, if you're reading the blog, this is option one, and this is starting at step four. So considering that we've already uploaded this template of all the many different lines. So step four says to upload your image. So you're gonna click here, come in. This is the image we're gonna work on right this second and insert it. So the um, material I'm engraving on is five by seven. So I'm gonna, of course, make this a little bit smaller. And I like to change the color so that I can see it a little better. And look like that. Um, I also like to rotate this a little bit. You can do this a couple of ways. You can either drag it like that or up here on the rotate, you can have it rotated 90 degree angle. Or not 90 degree, I'd say like 45. You just don't want it going directly up and down or directly side to side. It looks a little more natural to have it at a little bit of an angle. So that looks good to me. Next, you're gonna highlight the entire thing like this. I like to just make it a little bit bigger. You'll see in the blog post that I say, do it by multiple of 10, just so that it's easy to decrease it by multiple of 10. And make sure when you do that, that you had first highlighted both images. So it's really big. It's gonna tell you that it doesn't want you to do that, but that's okay, because um, we're gonna make it smaller again. But again, highlight both images. Come over here, click Slice. It's gonna take a second, because it's there's a lot of lines. And then all of a sudden you have all these slice results. So you're going to delete all of them, but one, just make sure you keep one. So I'm just going to highlight them, click shift, highlight all of them and press delete. So you should have this one. If you look really closely, you can see all these tiny lines Then click on your image again. And now we're just going to divide it by a multiple of 10. And it's back to that size. Now it looks like it's solid, even though it's full of all those tiny lines. Next step, click make it and you're all set. Make sure that when you're engraving, you put double-sided tape on your metal plate so that it, that it doesn't shift around and that you select the highest cardstock um, or the heaviest cardstock as a material type and have it increased pressure. You're good to go.